want to show you something. This uh, wheelbarrow tire assembly here. What would the typical person have done if they had discovered that, uh, you know, their air chamber, or their inner chamber, their tube, the tube to the tire was uh, too punctured to patch. And also, the wheel itself was dented like that. Would they have thrown away the entire wheelbarrow because they're so cheap to, to get nowadays? You know, they're only like 50, 60 bucks. And you get a brand new one, shiny, uh, freshly painted and everything instead of sticking with your beat-up uh, wheelbarrow? Well, I thought I could uh, fix it. And, uh, you know, with the aid of a, of a patch kit, you certainly could. I mean, obviously, you can see this was already patched before. See, we have a, a lot of thorns in our yard, and so, uh, you know, this, this uh, happens quite a bit. Unfortunately, this one couldn't be patched anymore, and so when I went to Home Depot to get, uh, to get another, another inner tube, I was told that they don't sell them anymore. So what was I to do? Get a new wheelbarrow and, and uh, throw away the, the old one even though it was still good? No, I couldn't do that. I could have purchased another assembly like this. See, they don't sell this by itself anymore, but they do sell the entire thing like that. It would have been something like 25 bucks. Um, instead, what I did is I went for something a little more expensive, um, but something which I think is worthwhile. I went for a flat free wheelbarrow tire. You see it here, it's already, I've already installed it. The advantage with this thing, of course, is it doesn't puncture, it's made of solid rubber. And no matter how many thorns you run over in your yard, um, this isn't gonna go flat on you. Now, it will wear down with time, obviously, but uh, it'll be a bit of time before that happens. So, um, automatically, what I've done is, uh, and this is important to me because I, you know, I believe in sustainability, and I believe in uh, in not throwing away things when they can still be used. I, I think I learned this from my grandfather. He was uh, always very enterprising. He he always fixed whatever he could. He saved what he when he uh, spare parts for what he might need in the future, and so. As a result of that, he could always fix just about everything and he never ran out of anything. He could always go into his workshop, his shed, and uh, find something you could use to fix something. Which I thought was really, really nice. Um, I think he, he gave me this love for fixing things. But, um, right, so I sprung for this thing, which is more expensive. It's uh, 38 bucks, I believe. And um, that I bought that instead of a regular wheelbarrow tire, which would have been 25 bucks. But for me, that's worthwhile. For one thing, I didn't buy something which was going to break down a few months down the road anyway, because I was bound to run into more thorns, and I didn't throw away the wheelbarrow, which to me is wonderful. You know, I didn't generate this waste. And this may be an old wheelbarrow, and it may be beat up, but it still works fine. So why throw it away? I just don't understand why the typical response of someone would be, hey, just throw it away, get a new one. You know, it's only 50, 60 bucks, you know, you would have spent, what, 15, 20 bucks more and you could have gotten an entire wheelbarrow. Well, that's that's not the point, is it? The point is to service the things that you have. The point is to be economical about the things that you have. And that way you don't waste money and you don't waste resources and you don't generate needless waste. So that's my two cents right there. Now I can use this wheelbarrow again. And believe me, it's been a trusty little thing. I've used this for pouring concrete and everything. But it's still good, as you can see. So there we go. Breathe fresh new life into an old wheelbarrow.